everyone. Richard Carlton here. Welcome to another awesome day of FileMaker training. It's today is Thursday, uh, September. Uh, the latter part of September, we're here with Nick Hunter. We'll be picking up the conversation shortly. I just want to do a quick uh, review or update on everyone. So tomorrow we will be doing kind of an overview review of the kind of the stuff that's gone on today with Claris, uh, FMTrain.tv, where we, every day we're doing live streams. It's pretty awesome. Um, and we have a lot of diverse people on here Monday. So, let's, well, actually, let's talk about the broadcast schedule. So today is uh, the last day of the week for Nick, and then Nick will disappear for a couple days. All right, well, uh, that's the upcoming broadcast. As a reminder, if you want to support the channel, <laughs> uh, definitely go and check out our training bundles. Uh, a lot of you, uh, instead of me saying, hey, give us free money, I how about I uh, trade you money for awesome training? Over and above the free training, people go, well, I want to talk about something else today. If you want to talk about something else today, we've already covered it in our training. Just go watch our training that you've already paid for. If you haven't paid for the training, support the channel. Go and buy some of our training. All right. So I'm going to pivot real quick. Nick, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> are you ready to go? I'm ready. So, all right, Nick, what are you showing today? Uh, today we continue the, the the iPhone stuff, so, so the iPhone design. It's hard to cover iPhone design in three hours because pretty much what the time we have is very hard because normally I should I need three months uh, every day from the from eight to eight to explain uh, everything. Right, iPhone is very particular. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's very particular. Okay, so because the way we use it again, I'm repeating myself. It's as you said, you need to repeat, 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 repeat. You know, teaching is the art of repeating uh, without be, without being boring. So, but you need to uh, the, the the way we use it. You know, we pretty much with one hand. You know, and that's why sometimes you say, "Oh, I, I you know, I love this app, the app. I love it." And sometimes you say, "Oh, I hate this app." Uh, it's because the you know the developer didn't handle it right, well, right, right. So the difference between hating it and uh, loving it is not much what it does, it's how it does it. So this is not my quote, it's Steve Jobs' quotes. Okay, so, uh, and the better, the better, uh, the natural way should be, right? So that's why today, um, so I, I want to cover something before we go, uh, or, you know, leftover from yesterday. Yesterday I was talking about, uh, I was talking about this. This is a website, uh, you know, in claris.com. Uh, I can share the, the, you know, I will share this with you uh, in a moment. Okay. So um, this website, it's pretty much, it tells you how to use the, 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 the screen stencils. So that's something I didn't cover yesterday and I want to cover now. So the screen stencil, uh, stencils and how to pretty much, uh, you know, size your uh, your screen, right? So here you have, um, I don't know why it's not iPhone 8. Is the iPhone XR and XS Max the latest? Um, because this is, uh, you know, they said Famicom 19, 18, they didn't, they didn't first. update that list, no, because when we, I was looking for like an updated list for that for a while, like a month ago, and that is as far as it goes. Yeah. They haven't updated. Yeah, they they do they they do here, they do here and here, but you know they they said nineteen dot x, so that means, um, but anyway, uh, those information uh, are useful anyway. So this is a, the eight. The when you have a, an iPhone in portrait mode, right? Uh, the width is four hundred fourteen. The eight is seven hundred forty-seven. But when you show the Famicom UI, when you hide the Famicom UI, that eight, the eight with uh, no UI, the menu bar is forty-four and the toolbar is twenty-seven. So you know, you need pretty much to. Uh, um, to withdraw 71, right, 20, 44, 27, uh, to um, uh, you remove, you, that's point, that pixels, you know, points, that points. So you need to withdraw, uh, you know, from from this one to 747 and, how, you know, it's 71 pixels less uh, because when you show and hide the, the UI, the, the Famicom UI, I 
don't show the UI pretty much never. Uh, pretty much like you know, it's like it's like showing the toolbar, right? You know? So UI, the UI. When we say UI is this, so let me show. When we say UI is this, you know, this is the UI. So you have this on the bottom, right? And this is on top, you know, the top, right, and the bottom, right. So I'm not, I'm not showing the UI. You know, when you when you don't show the UI, you have much more real estate, right? Right, like this. So uh, this is this website is useful to pretty much size your you know, your your phone and your iPad. iPad, eh? I don't know. Maybe maybe that, but but they they we have a new iPhone fourteen, right? So I don't I don't know. They they talk about iPhone first iPhone. You remember the first iPhone three hundred and seventy. So you, you know the starter solution has been uh, pretty much size for the first iPhone, right? So that the size and the, so, and now we are seven hundred forty seven and eighty eight eight hundred. Imagine on the phone, even more now because the the max must must be more now. So that was being said. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the 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 navigation. Navigation on an iPhone is the it's the most difficult part of uh, building things. The navigation. Because uh, you need to go from screen to screen to screen to screen to screen. You know, you you layout and layout and layout and layout. You don't have one layout like this, right? Uh, pretty much on the iPhone, on an iPhone, uh, this is two layouts, three layouts, right? So um, you know, like demonstration here. Here you have one layout, and you say this is an iPhone. And you have a free iPhone, you have 10% discount. You have 10% discount uh, and 10%. And uh, the price is, I don't know, four six four ninety nine dollars Okay, so that is how you enter data inside your, uh, you know, your app and desktop, right? But on a phone, on a phone, it's totally different. You don't do this. On the phone, right, you hear, and because I want an edit mode, you need to edit, then you need to add a line, and then you have a new layout, right? And then you can enter what, whatever you want to enter, right? It's an iPhone, iPhone, and... Uh, and uh, I want free, right? And I want 10% and I want uh, 599. So you see now, this is easy to enter because I have a layout, right? So each section has a layout, but right? that we saw that, uh, the, the, uh, you know, those days. So the last days. So, so when you do this, right? Um, or always you need to think about the navigation. Right? For example, here, we have a first level of navigation. We have the main level of navigation, the main level, right? Here, 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 okay. So the main level is pretty much the replication of this dashboard, invoices, customer, products, okay. Here on the iPhone, always, you navigate from list views to list view. Because on an iPhone, it's always where you start, okay? If I use Amazon, for example, you will start on the list view. Uh, if you use uh, your bank account, you start on the list view, you know? You, you, you will first start on the dashboard like this, and then you go to the list view, you know, the, your, your bank account, you know? The, 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 the transaction you do, so list view. So you always go, uh, you always land in the, in the in the list view, right? So our staff on the iPhone needs to do the same. You need to land on the list view demonstration. Here I'm landing in, you know, the first is a dashboard, but I have a list view, but it's a dashboard, right? But then, like here, right? But then I'm going to my invoices, 
This is the invoice list, okay? Then I go to the customer list. Then I go to the product list, okay? So invoices, customers, products, list, list, list. Okay. Dashboard, okay, list, 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 list. When I'm entering an invoice, boom, I am in that invoice. I cannot go to another one, okay? I can. Because if I want to go to another one, I go back there and I go to another one. I go back to the list, right? And I open another one. You never let's say try to avoid to to uh, go from record to record. You can do it when you have a flat file, like contacts, for example. You can do it. You can go to a, a, to a, a record, to another record, to another record, because it's a flat file. But most of the time, you don't want to do that. So uh, like the product, when you are in product, you're in products. Right, you go back. Oh, customer, you go back. You go to another customer, right? Because the list view is where you're going to search, is where you're going to to sort, right? So pretty much is where you browse, it's where you browse, where is where you 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 find people, okay? You find invoices, you find products on the list view. The list view on the phone is it's. It's much more uh, important than in our puzzling in our, in a desktop, right? So, but on the desktop, you know, we in the past we had this design: list view, detail, list, detail, list, detail, right? Uh, here, list, detail. Okay, list, 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 list. Okay. So we had list detail, right? Now we have master detail, okay? So our uh, FM starting point, starts in point. So, so now we have another, we merged, you know, the master detail, right? So we have a pretty much a mini list inside the detail. That's why we call that master detail. We still have the list, right? The full list, we still have it. But in details, we have the master. You understand now that on an iPhone, I will have one screen for that. I click here, I go there, right? And then on the bottom, I have the navigation for that. I showed, I, I already do the, I did the demonstration of this, okay? So for the iPad, okay? It's the same for the iPhone. So the demonstration here is the same. So we have the list, you tap, we have this, right? So you have the list, we tap, we have this, right? So here we have the list, we tap, and we have the details, right? And then here we can edit, and we have a third level to add a to edit a line or to add a line, right? So the navigation needs to be always simple and straightforward on an iPhone. Otherwise, you will lose the people completely. Things that need to be obvious and need to be straightforward. Okay. So, for example, navigation on an iPhone, on an iPad, always at the bottom of the screen. Always, 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 always. It's always at the bottom of the screen. You know, if you go music, you know, and um, it will see it's on the bottom of the, you know, it's on the bottom, you know. So it's uh, always on the bottom, right? So 
the navigation on the bottom. You can add text or you can keep icons. You know, if it's straightforward, you can keep icon. If you need to have more, you know, specific specification, you can add some text, right? But it's pretty good. It's pretty easy to do something like this, right? Because this this here is a button bar, so it's pretty simple. Navigation always you need to go from one screen to another, and the back button needs to be explicit. So let me explain. Here, I don't have a back button. I don't need to do to say back. I want to give more information than back. Back to, to where? Back is not a good way to, to say things. Okay. Here, I want to go back to my invoices. Invoices with the S. When you put an S, and when you don't, if you say invoice, you lose the people because they say, okay, I'm going back to the invoice, which one? When I go there, I say invoices. In that case, oh, I know, it's the multiple invoices, okay? So pretty much the invoices I have. Same here for the customer list. I'm going back to customers, right? And products, the same. I'm going back to products with the S. Yes, sometime you can do and add the number in parentheses. You say you can say okay back to invoices, parentheses four or five or six, and you put the the number of the found set you have. You can do that. That you gave you can give even more information when you do this, right? So if you say um, when you go there. And you hear, and you say, I want to go back to customers, right? And you want to put the number of customers you have in the, in the found set, right? So you can do this, okay? Customers, you know, and you have the numbers. So that you give even more information, but that implies that you need the calculations and that you need to you need to retrieve this information that sometimes you don't have on hand, right? So you need to build it, right? But sometimes it can be useful. So when you go back, you know, so here we have this navigation here. And remember, here I can do something else. I can edit. I can edit the layout. When you edit the layout, right, the button, the back button, you know, the invoice button goes. The top, and I have kind of a distinction, a visual distinction between edit and play. Edit, play, edit, play. Okay. So you you, you know that oh you know, something different because I have the blue top, okay? Something is different when you do this. It's the, the blue top, okay. And on the title, you explicitly says what you're doing, right? It is important to tell, the, to give information to the people. It's important to keep them updated, you know, up to date of what I'm doing. I'm editing the invoice free, right? So that's what I'm doing. You know, here I'm done. I mean, in here I'm in invoice free, and I have a back button. No, the invoice button. But here I cannot go back, right? And the only thing I can do is the done button. And here the catch. You don't want. You want that button here, right? I can edit this, right. edit this. So, and you want this blue on top here to always remain, always remain, always, right? You don't want this to go away. That's why you put that on the header, okay? You put that on a header or top navigation, that's the same, top navigation. Now we have a top navigation. 
So I used, it, it was on the time I didn't have the top navigation part. But the top navigation part has this particularity to always stay stick on top of the screen. So demonstration. If I don't do this, if I put like this, like a, I don't know, uh, how I can make it disappear. Uh, let's say I don't have it, okay? Let's say I don't have it. The down button goes, see? The down button will go away. So that is problem. Because when you have the main command, the main action that can get you free from that layout, you don't want the thing to go away. This button here, if it goes away, you know, on top of the screen, I have no clue first what I'm doing. And secondly, I have no way to go away. I need to tap down button to go away, right? I need to tap the down button. So that's why FileMaker did the top navigation. The header, the header is kind of doesn't have the same um, behavior than the, the, the top navigation, uh, for example, on, especially on list view, you know? On the list view, so let's recreate more uh, invoice, uh, more invoice. See here that I have the same thing. So the top navigation, so here on the list view, I want this to always stay on stop, uh, stick on top, right? I want the filters, the filter, right? and the salt and the plus to always be on top of the screen, always. Never go away, okay? So how we do that? So the same thing. That was a header, but you can use top navigation now. Top navigation, you're sure it will always be on the bottom. And here we have the bottom navigation. So that's why Claris, let's talk like this now, Clarice did this. Clarice said, okay, we need a new part, a new part in the layout part because, because of that purpose. Because we want to make sure that always, always, the, the navigation on the bottom and on the top always stay stick. Always. Okay. So you need to make sure, right? That when you when you build thing like this, right, that the thing doesn't disappear. Now, you see, the the search box here goes away, right? So if I search for RCC, for example, right? If I scroll, but I, I don't have enough. But you know, if I show all, you know, the 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 the, the search bar, the search go away. This is a choice. We could have said, don't go away. More, done, back, more, done, back, more, done, back. So here, you see that the, 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 this goes away. So to, re, to prevent it, you can all include it inside the top navigation or make it a header. So that will stay now, right? But it was my choice at the time to remove it because remember at that time, the screen was smaller, much smaller, pretty much the half, right? So I wanted to make sure that I can get as much as real estate possible. And uh, so, and that was my choice, you know, like this. So the navigation, we have the main navigation from list view to list view. Oh, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is the basic, most efficient, most and simpler navigation possible you can have on an iPhone. Okay. What I'm doing, what I'm what I'm telling you right now is the most efficient, simple, and uh, simple and easy to implement because it's from list view to list view. It's clear and it's clear for the, you know, for the user. When you hear, 
So when you're here, you, you open a, a, a scene here. So you go there and you say, okay, I want to edit. And you have a done button here. But here we have another, we have a third level navigation, which is edits, right? Edits the, 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 the item. The back button, again, I'm not naming it back. I tell invoice five. So, I mean, I was in invoice five and I'm editing one item of, of invoice five. So I'm going back to invoice five. When I'm done, I'm going back to invoices, right? So you see the logic here on the naming. The naming is the most difficult thing you will have to do in, in, in Go. We need very straightforward names. Okay. So sometimes Apple now, they have, they don't even put a back button. They put an arrow and that's it. You know, they don't, they don't even put a back button. They don't even say back or they don't even say where you go back. You go back. That's it. You know, uh, here I had the real estate to do that. I had the real estate to say back. To, to put the name of the of their invoice, right? So here I'm going back to the their invoice number five, right? So that's why it's the is the easiest way. So now we have another way. So if we don't have any questions, uh, I believe we are good. Okay. So let me go to another status solution. Uh, I think I can go to yeah projects. Okay, sorry, it's in in Spanish. I I, I when I downloaded it, it wasn't. I, I don't. I didn't realize it. Um. So here it was kind of for my own. Uh, my own. Um, solution. Okay, so the project one. The, when I get when I got out from the school over there the, the, of design, they say, okay, Nick, so you know what? Project do what you think the best. Okay. So in that time, I love the the circles, you know, and I say I think this particular solution that is 10 years old, 10 years old, is freaking <laughs> modern, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay. Uh, so, but we have a lot of things. Uh, it's it's a P. I don't I don't have it in in, in, in Do I, I have it in? Uh, why I have it in? I don't have projects. I have assets. Project. I'm sorry, that is not in English. I didn't realize it. But anyway, so I want to create a new uh, a new project, right? So I can ask. I can add a task, right? I can edit the task. And I can put something, a description. Okay. Then here I have a date. And, you know, another date here. And here I have pretty much kind of a, a tag here that says, like, like a, you know, like a uh, status. I can add a progression. I can add a resource, right? I can add somebody, right? So I can say, sir, Nick, you know, uh, Nick, Hunter. So, them, them, them. So you see, I don't care about how it works. You just use it. So I, I didn't use that solution for maybe five years. And I don't even care about you know how it works. Because the navigation is so clear, right? And the information I give you is so evident that you don't even need to think about. 
The plus, you know, you go in to add a, a new task here. You're in task, right? So you add a new task. If you go back here, you are in the project list, right? So you can add a new project list, a new project. And in the project, you can add a new task, right? Now that you have your task, so when you don't have a task, so let's delete the task. Let's delete the task. Okay, ha, that's something. Okay. So when you have a task, so you have two tasks, you know, one guy and zero publications, okay? So you see here, this is very important to show you this. Yes, I know you, you, you actually now you, you're crazy because you got that for free in your Primarchus uh, Pro, Pro um, application and you didn't even know about it, right? But to my defense, when Pharmaca 12, when Pharmaca 12 went out, you know, uh, in 2010, uh, no, 2011, uh, the number one new feature, and I'm not kidding, the number one new feature of, the, of that Pharmaca 12 was the status solution. Okay, but anyway, um, you have this status solution for free and you never know it. So when you are in that project, you know, when you are in that project, and uh, so you, you know you have 282 uh, 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 days remaining, you have two tasks, one uh, resource, you know, like one, one guy, you know, one, one person. Okay. So here, something interesting. So you see the navigation, Always you navigate list, list, you know, list, list, list. Always, okay, so you start with, like here, we start with a dashboard. Like here, we start with like a, a dashboard for the projects. You know, where I am, the name of the project, you know, uh, the name of the project, right? And the description, blah, blah, blah. And from what day to what day, and uh, you know, the the time and the, the progression, right? So all of this is like, or uh, uh, like the details of the project, and then you go from list to list to list, and the name on top, the button that does the action, you don't say. Like oh task or no you do, you you put a number and you say okay oh I have two tasks right two tasks if I add a new one right now I'm free right and you see here you go back I don't even have the name of the back you, you we have a, a you know a arrow that go back because you know you know you are in project one. And this is the task two, okay, for example. Task two, okay. And you can say this one, and you can say blah, 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 blah. And you can add a guy. Let's add Nick Hunter again, right? Right, so. So now I have three tasks. And here, right? You have a lot of information. We have the name of the task. We have the percentage of progression. We have the number of days remain. So I can increase that a little bit, you know? So let's increase this. Why well, it didn't change it? Okay, seven days, right? So, you have a lot of information here. So now you can see why I'm using list views and why I'm not using, um, what's the name, uh, portals. Portal is a poor, very poor uh, object. You remember yesterday I told you I'm going to talk about portals. First of all, look how this is cool. 
Okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, doing this, okay? So I'm adding task like this, okay? And I have three tasks uh, done, so they're done. Let's say, let's say we put them in the past, okay? So they, they passed, right? So I have this one here with a obvious, you know, with an obvious kind of a uh, treatment, visual treatment, say, hey, something wrong with that task. Yeah, because it's not completed, right? And you have zero percentage or 15%. So it's not done. This task is not done, should be done by the, the fifth, right? Or should be done by the, you know, the, the sixth, okay? So it's, it's not, you have a problem with this, you know, it's, it's due. You know, it's due. Sorry for the language. So it should have been finalized. So when it's finalized now, so we have this. So let me show you this. So let's say we have this and we put it in the past. Look the visual treatment. We have separation with different status you know, in progress, uh, pending, and completed. So we have separation, separation here, you know, we have the separation, this here, which are summaries. So only list view can give you that possibility. If you don't give that possibility, if you don't do that on your iPhone. You remove a huge amount right, of information. So here in one glimpse, in one in a glance, you see all the thing, right? You see all. Right? So you see uh, what is in course and stuff like that, right? Of course, you can, you can sort, okay? You can sort by this. So here, look the power of the list view versus the, the, the polls. First of all, I have a, a single, uh, so I have a single sort button uh, that goes, that do a sort, pretty much, you do a sort. I'm not doing more than this, okay. I'm doing a sort, and so I can have, you know, Time frame. Oh, the name on the separation is different because now I want to say, oh, that today, that is later this week. This is uh, that 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 was this week, right? That was next week, this month, and later in two thousand twenty-three. So you can ima you imagine the power of this. Okay, so if I had people, I don't have any people here, but I could I could sort by, uh, you know, here what do I have? No, so you can sort by name, right? Uh, by time frame, so the summary change, and give you another information, and you can say by status, right? So that only the list view can give you that power with simplicity. And I have the same for all of those, you know, departments and uh, so, you know, all of those, you have the same thing, okay? The same here, okay. So that being said, now, do we have any questions? Uh, we got no questions on okay. YouTube or this. Uh, Lynn is typing something, but uh, you can otherwise keep going on if he's. Got... Oh, how did you bring up the sort option? That's yeah. It's a list view. It's a value list. That uh, that how the value list looks like on 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 Go, right? So that's the value list. So I tap here. And pretty much, I say, I go to another. Uh, but that I'm going, all of those details, I'm going to do them in the, 
what's the name in their my most advanced designs uh webinars that I'm going that, that's going next week. Starting next week, I'm going to have the same kind of for um you know treatment like this. But uh it's pretty much I have a, a field. You know, I'm going to a field, I'm not showing the field, but I'm going to the field, I say go to the field, and then I have this. This is a list, this is a value list, you know. But it looks very cool. Okay. So now for the navigation part. Okay. So always keep the thing simple. This is sort. So here we have the same, you know, projects, and uh, you can sort by uh, time frame. See, uh, today you can sort by status. Okay. So we have the same kind of uh, treatments, right? And we have the plus button. Here we have kind of uh, the main, on the top here, we have the main navigation. That the, uh, what's the name? The contacts. So do your contact list, you know? And that the, the, the guest one, right? The, no, that, okay, sorry. Uh, that the that the, the the resource and that the contacts okay so uh, and that you can you can print right pretty obvious so what what we can do here is something in interesting you remember uh, you know I told you I want to delete that you know I want to delete that project right so I have an edit button here and now I can delete you know done. Edit, done, edit, done, edit. So you can you can do, you can use the same technique and you can say, oh, okay, I want to delete that one. Delete, eliminate. Done. Edit, done, edit, done. So you don't want the, the, the delete button to be there. We don't have the slide stuff. We don't have it. Uh, we don't and we never have it. So uh, So let's forget about it or forget about trying to mimic it with a slide control would never work. Um, we, have a, we don't have a slide to delete, so I build my own. So this is clear, but you can do more than this, right? You can do more than this uh, if you want. You can use the same technique to do more, to, you know, so when you edit, you can do things. The same here when you open it, when you open this, right, and you go to the task list, you use the same treatment here to delete the task. So you delete a task, and you delete the task. Okay, and done. Right. So the delete is cool because you don't you don't want the delete button in the middle of your face. You know you don't want every line to have a delete button. And here, the delete button is obvious. You delete it. It's red, you delete it, and you have, of course, the, you know, the message that goes with it, right? So that was another type of uh, uh, navigation that you have a list, you type, and you have, you enter here in a detailed kind of a, like this, in a detailed view. And you can go to view, to view, to view like this. Okay. Uh, we didn't want to to do that to put on the bottom any navigation, right? But um, it's uh, it's the way uh, we decided to do it. We could have put this, you know, the the bar here to put that on the bottom. We could, right? But uh, it was a design choice that I made. Uh, to put that on, on not on the top, but on the middle, right? To so not putting on the bottom. It was a choice. So now you understand how it works. We have the, the projects itself, the task, when you tap, you enter into right here into a task details. But let's say now, right, let's say I want to add people here, okay? So let's add people in my solution, you know, contacts, uh, let's add people here, okay? So I want to add 
Uh, uh, real quick reminder from one of the viewers that they can't see where on the screen you are touching and tapping, um, yes. but they can only tell when a button changes color. So there, yes. there, there was a bit of confusion about you hitting the sort button. Oh, yeah. When you eat this button here, I'm eating it. Boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. So let's add some people here, okay? So uh, let's add a... Uh, Okay, so I add the people here. Right? So now I have people, I can change this guy. Um, okay, so here I add some people here. So I can change this guy here. Uh, say, um, who is uh, Jacob? Okay. okay, so now I'm going there. I'm going to, I'm tapping the four. The four, four, four uh, task, right? and I'm going to here, and I'm going to edit this button here. Okay, sorry for the Spanish stuff. I'm going to add Nick, Jacob, Marge, Rick, Scott, Michelle. So you see, I can add multiple people at once. So I'm showing that many, many times in my webinars, and I create that at that time, right? So I know you you be you'll be outrageous right now because outrageous because you think you think oh I had this solution for ten years for free in my in my computer and I never use it yeah you did so um, and tap here so now I have people here but this is what I want to show you okay so Peter I don't think I have this I, I need to copy this solution from uh, to the to the computer oh well. So here I have in my solution I had five contacts okay but here I can only show four I can show four if I have more so let's say I want to eliminate two of them, okay? So I eliminate two. Now, here, he says one, two, three, four, right? But if I, if I want to add somebody, right? If I want to add Nick here, he still says, he will say now, mass more, more showing more because because this is a portal this here it's a portal but it shows four and that's it i'm not scrolling because this crawl and yesterday i told you no embedded scrolling stuff right so it's a portal i use portal of course i use portal but that way this portal, I don't even I don't know if I have the project status solution here. I need to projects. I think I, I don't think I have it. Oh uh, yeah, so if I have the I have nine I have 18, so I can do this. So let's uh FireMaker if I have 18. Starting 18. I'm going to show you. So don't know why it's so slow to start, but it's okay. So I can show um, uh, new, right? Here you have projects put on the desktop. And we have the project status. So I'm going to the project phone, right? And I'm going to show you. This, right, is the layout I told you, okay? 
This is the layout I told you. It's the task detail for the phone. Is this layout. So here, we have a portal here. That shows the resource, okay? The resource. It's a portal that shows four and it's not scrollable. It's not. What happens if I have more? So here I have a button that shows up only that hide when the number of the resource I have here is, uh, is equal at, e less or equal at four, okay, it disappears. Otherwise, it showed up, and then I'm going to all the resource I have. So here I'm showing the four first, and I say, okay, I have more. And now I'm showing the five, because here I'm showing only four. But this, this portal here will never, ever, never, ever move, scroll, never. But to show more, I have this. And I have a list. I have a nice list. I can sort. I can do whatever I want. I can edit. I can delete on the list. I don't do anything here, right? If I want to delete here, if I want to delete something, I go there. Right, and I delete it. Right, uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, if I want to delete, ah, if I want to delete something, right, I'm editing, right, and I delete from here. I'm I'm removing. Right, when you remove, it goes away. Right, so this is how it works. When you tap here, you add, add, right. So now you have six or five, right. You have six. But if you want to remove somebody from here, right? You tap here. No, you, <laughs> sorry. You edit, and then you remove, remove, you remove, remove, and then boom. And now you have less. So that is a great, it's a great example, right? So you have the same for, the, for here, for example. I was, I pretty much in, in, embedded inside that so inside, inside that solution a chat system you know low the chat system okay so you can say how are you so because when you are uh when you are in the uh when you are in the solution shared on the network you can converse with people like this on the same projects so you have a chat right and the chat has the same the same treatments. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, doing a demo. No demo. <laughs> doing a demo. Uh, so I'm going. Are we doing doing a demo? So you can edit, uh, and you can um, doing a demo. Oh, I have a bug here. Anyway, so you understand what I'm doing here. And here I have more because I have more than, than four, right? So I can go there and send and, and tap more here. And I say more, and then I can do whatever I want here. Okay. And I can even change this. Here I have a problem. Uh, it should, I should go there, but it's not. So it's a bug. Uh, but anyway, so you got a point here. So something before we go, you know. I don't know if you noticed, but I have a lot of layouts. I have a lot of layouts. You know, a lot. I have the, you know, the, for the phone, that for the project, that for the contacts. Okay. So we have the tasks list, the project list, the tax details, the resource, the post, and the edit post. So we have a lot of layouts. Right. So why? It's because you don't want to have everything in one layout, right? And as I said, when you hear, right, and you want to edit 
this guy, for example, Michel, you want to edit it, you type here and you edit it, right? Uh, right? So you can edit it and go back, right? So now you have the name change. So the, the way you organize things, the big buttons, right? The real estate, you can see, I'm showing you a lot of, uh, pretty much, pretty much the, I'm showing everything here. Uh, all the feature we have here, I'm showing the same. All the feature of this file, I'm showing the same, right? But to be honest with you, uh, this is 10 years old, right? 10 years old, this, right? So it was extremely modern because um, they gave me free, they gave me freedom to do what I want, whatever I want. So uh, I have two solutions like this. I have this one, right? And I have the, the, um, the event management. So those two were full freedom to do whatever I want, right? So the same, the same thing, list, 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 right? So you have the same thing here. Um, so that, that, you know, you can click and you have a new event uh, done and you can tap here, task, you click, you know, so you have a new event, a new task, you know, and uh, another, the time here, the dates. Uh, so it was very, very modern at the time, you know. So, um, and we have colors, you know, the navigation. I was, it was at that time, um, my, I was using a lot of Microsoft products, uh, Word, and uh, because, I, you know, over there, they, they were using a lot of uh, Word and uh, a lot of Word and a lot of Excel. So that's why we have colors like this. So here you see when you are in the event side, contributor is red, task is blue, our agenda is uh, green, and this is orange, right? So when you go there, it's orange. When you go there, it's green. When you go there, it's blue. When you go there, it's red, right? Or magenta. So, and you see the, the, the background, the background of the, the list view is repeating the same color, the blue, the green, the orange. So, um, it was kind of a, I was playing pretty much uh, with what I've learned, right? So the edit button always, the plus button, uh, you know, and something like this. So that was completely new uh, back in the day for the, you know, for the, on, on the iPhone, right? So um, it was because we never, you know, on the, on Farmaker, we never used to build stuff like this with big buttons and big big numbers like this, you know, titles like this, you know, with one number and the, the labels like this. Um, you know, it, it was kind of very, very new, you know, like uh, when you hear you, if you put, for example, a phone number, you know, you put a phone number and you put an email. Uh, now you can send an email and you have the button, see, the button on top, you can call, you know, can call, uh, you can send an email. Um, if you put an address, uh, blah, 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 uh, the city, uh, San Francisco. Uh, so now you can type the address button. So you have kind of action buttons like this on top of the, of the screen. So, um, and the navigation here is pretty simple. That, uh, you know, it's the same. You start in the event. You have two. You have two sides. You know. Remember, I told you you can use the toggle like this. You know. So you have two sides. You have, um, uh, you have the event list and the contact list, right? So you have the event list. When you type new events, you are in a new event, and then in that event you stay contributor task, uh, you know, agenda and stuff like this, right? So. And when you're in the contacts, you add a contact, pretty much a contact list, right? But with the same thing, right? 
So for example, if I add in a new contact here, and right, and I go to events and I put my contact as a contributor, you know, uh, I'm um I think you know I can add okay hold on. if I'm adding a guest so I don't know why I can I cannot but anyway so I can I could use the guest people but I don't know so uh, anyway uh, if we don't have any questions for the iPhone oh see yeah before we go. Uh, I'm not showing that in that my I, I prefer not showing um, the those bars like this, right? I don't want to use the you know the status bar and stuff like this. So to go away from the solution, right? Uh, because normally you, you have to go there and say close, right? Instead, uh, in the list view, I have a close button. So you can close your solution. And in project, the same you can close the solution. Okay, directly from here, close. You have a close button. So if we if we have no no other question, I think we go good nope, to just people wanting the files. Can we get the files presented today, especially invoices with all of Nick's edits? Yeah, I can. But everything I'm going to, sh to give you a, a a zip with everything I have on my desktop. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and a lot of thank you that it's very helpful. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Really yeah, appreciate okay. it. So have a great weekend, everybody. And uh, uh, next week, we start a long series. Uh, like, I think it's two months of a very deep, uh, in deep and uh, kind of a design stuff. Yes, which will be really quite fun. So yeah, we'll start that on Wednesday next week, I believe. So yes. cool. I'm going to share my screen and run the music. Thank, Thank you. Thank you again, Nick. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Biomaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the Biomaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. Oh,